I happened to be at Maple Leaf Gardens the night Daryl Sittler scored 10 points in one game. We knew it was a record, but not that it was historic, because it's never been equaled. People lament that nothing was kept. His stick, sweater, the puck. I like that. When you make too much of history, it turns into kitsch, like battle reenactments where people think they're part of history or uh, voting for Hillary Clinton to make history, which is just hype. The only place you see history is in the rear view mirror, and by then it's long gone. Meanwhile, you might miss what's happening in the moment. What I remember is by the third period, Sittler seemed to lose interest in assists and just kept popping goals. If he'd been thinking about making history, he'd have had less fun and maybe missed the record. Getting self-conscious about history is probably a good way to mess things up. I did keep the stub from that game for years. Then it got lost during a move. But that's probably how it should be. If you fetishize history, it can become a burden. History should be worn lightly, as Daryl Sittler, who's already a legend himself, does so beautifully. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.